Hello, fine friends. Paul Gordon here, again, Harry American Troll. And I wasn't satisfied with the last video, so this is in addition to the other three-point lighting. Um, okay, so here I have a simple three-point lighting plan. Um, and now I want to take it apart for you, okay? Um, so I have, I have a light behind me, and I have a light off to the side, and I have another light uh, to the 45 degree angle or mm, 60 degree angle right there. <coughs> okay, so let's see. Um, I, will turn off, I will turn off my side light. Okay, so now I have some shadow. I will turn off the backlight. Okay, so now I have one point. Now I have just one point lighting. So now you can see the cross shadow. Okay, this cross shadow is um, dramatic. <laughs> but it might be a little too dramatic. So this is, a, uh, <coughs> this is from the corner front, right? Um, now I have this other one directly to the side, and I'm going to fill this other side with a different color light. There we go. Okay, now bear with me. I know this is particularly pink. I understand. But when I add the back, then the whole picture is what adjusts the camera lens, uh, the iris, and fills out the whole thing. Okay, so here's, here's a particular effect. The whole effect is built for this reason, okay? Um, if I were to only be using one point or two point lighting, I would adjust that accordingly. Um, in the other video, I was moving too quickly because of this uh, corona having to uh, do all sorts of things. I had too many projects and I was not satisfied with the amount of, you know, the backlight was hitting me too hard. So when I put the backlight on, it actually blasted out uh, and overpowered the front light. But in this particular situation, it's not. Um, you can see that I have this halo on my head and this backlight hits my shoulders and actually brings out a quality to me in the space. That's what you're looking to do. You're looking to separate yourself from your environment, make you pop, as I refer to it. It's not just me, it's, <laughs> it's the standard speak. Um, so, some of you have asked me about my rig. My rig. Um, the only fancy things I have with me at this moment are my microphone, which is not fancy at all. I think you can get it for 60, 70, 80 bucks online. It's a Shure and it is just a clip-on lavalier with a three and a half millimeter into my phone or my, you know, it's just a standard jack for computer or phone or whatever. Um, I also have a gimbal, G-I-M-B-A-L, and um, my particular one is a three motor gimbal, and this enables me to hold the thing and walk around, and I do not have a fancy attachment. My gimbal is just screwed in to a tripod. So this allows me quick adjustment wherever I want to be. Um, okay, so now I want to share with you the very simple understanding of the lights I'm using, okay? You're gonna love this. Um, I'm going to turn off my light, my side light here. <coughs> and now I'm going to bring it into the room.
This is my lamp. This is my side lamp. I have a similar scoop right there. And I have a similar scoop hanging up above me behind me. Okay. <laughs> it's just home. It's just cheap stuff from Ikea or wherever. You know, these are, you know, I mean, it's just an adjustable thing. Now, now I also want you to understand that um, this light bulb is the same light bulb as I have in there and up there. However, I wanted to differentiate my uh, color temperature, which is the difference in, you know, warm, uh, cool, high intensity, LED, whatever it is, the color temperatures of different bulbs make you feel very cold light or grow lights or uh, warm, mellow light, whatever it is. And in this particular case, I want to show you something. I have this lamp here, okay? And I have a piece of fabric and it's, it's mostly see-through. Maybe you can see, see me in the back. Um, so, <laughs> so I turn this light on, um, turn it on over here. Okay. There's the light. And now I wanted to differentiate. So I took this and in so doing, you can see the color difference here. Okay. And now because it's too close to me, the uh, camera iris is picking up the information too intensely. So I simply move it back to where it needs to be. And now it's far enough away that it doesn't overpower anything, but you can see this. Okay. <laughs> so there's one light. It has a similar intensity, but a different color so that there's this color here and this other color here, and both of them split my face and add to the fill, but also lend the cross shadow dramatic effect that we're looking for with two, with effective two point lighting. The third point up and behind me gives me this glow, this halo behind me, which enables me to pop out of the space. And you may be looking at this and saying, this is incredibly simple. I want to buy something fancy. And I'm here to tell you, sure, you can buy something fancy. It's fine. But until you understand how to use it, it's not going to do any good. So that's actually why I teach what I teach. I want you to first get the hang of using simple homemade stuff that can give you enough. When you are successful or forget the concept of success. When you're looking to ramp up the game with that type of investment, once you understand the principles, you can increase your goods, the quality and the specific attention that certain goods and, and uh, certain purchasable wares can, uh, can, can, can be specialized for and then used for the fill, the side fill. Um, <coughs> you can you can look up, you know, B and H photo and video in New York City, right? This place has a large, large cache of information and different equipment that you can buy, and they have pretty good prices. But it doesn't take a genius to be able to type in, 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 in YouTube, Ferrari fails. And you can see a person who doesn't know how to drive a Ferrari, but can afford a Ferrari, and they will fuck themselves up and possibly ruin their Ferrari. You don't become a good 
a well-lit person by buying fancy equipment. So I want you to just take the cheap stuff that you have at home and ingeniously use it in order to get the effect you want. And someday you can gradually increase and improve your gear. You can move up to a gimbal. You can improve, you know, you see some photos of some of the people who have a really nice mic with a pee popping filter in front of it, um, a wind filter for your mic. Um, you know, a, a gimbal is a good thing, but you don't need all the fancy stuff. You don't need it at first at all. That's it. Okay, I hope that this helps. I hope that you continue to understand how you can do what you can do with things you have at home, mostly. And remember this. The stuff that you can't necessarily just pick up at home and start go, go, going with is the skills and techniques about saying what you mean, speaking from the heart, and using your increasingly large understanding of the knowledge that goes into parsing all of the ways that you express yourself. That stuff is the type of stuff that you can get from a person who knows how to deliver information. But this, the lighting fix, the composition fix, the camera height fix, you don't need anything fancy. You just need to be able to intelligently place the stuff where it needs to be so that you can make yourself free of those problems and then focus on your content. Focus on saying what you mean. Okay. That's it, and that's all for now. Hope you're well. Hit me up with some messages, interested, whatever it is. Curies, queries, con concepts, thoughts, <coughs> musings. <laughs> See ya.